Hello world, human sustainability here. Uh, so I noticed this uh, right before I left last weekend. Um, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be for you to see, but um, the cut over on this end is the right height. But as you move down here, it gets lower, lower, lower. It get, keeps getting deeper into the log. Um, and that's because I was flexing down on the, the board, apparently. Um, so as I was flexing down, you know, I was cutting deeper in, into the board. So uh, I knew that that was a risk um, that, that it, you know, this board would flex. Uh, as I was cutting, I didn't realize that I was pushing down that hard, you know, down this way that hard. I thought I was just pushing, um, you know, this way. So that might be why I was having such a hard time cutting is because, you know, I was cutting a curve, right? I'm cutting like this. Um, and you can see that in the cut. So what I did is I went and I got some stiffening agent. Um, I got quite a few of these here and some screws, right? Now I'm just going to put them put them right along the sides like this and with any kind of luck you know screw them in there and with any kind of luck um, that'll that'll give this board enough stiffness that it doesn't flex like that so um, that's what I'm gonna do gonna try it out uh, hopefully it works uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done okay guys so got this done uh, you know it took me about 15 minutes uh, two screws, one in the center, two screws, and I've overlapped these, right? There's there's one here and one here. I've overlapped them. Not sure how well you can see that. Um, and then screw, screw, etc. Um, both sides, I you know three per side. They're three feet long, so you know this should be this should be pretty good, I think. Um, or maybe they're four foot. They must be four foot long. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, Hopefully this will give this, this board some stiffening, uh, you know, so that it doesn't flex on me while I'm, while I'm milling. I'm um, going to remount it, go get the saw. Um, I'm going to go a little deeper than this cut, um, you know, this first cut here. I'm going to go a little bit deeper than that to try to get rid of the scar because there's going to be a scar um, on this piece. Uh, but the good news is, or rather, I don't know if it's good news, but it's fortunate, I suppose. Um, this bad cut that I had here, the, the mistake I made last weekend, um, if I go just a little bit deeper, this, this plank right here that I'm taking off, this one right here would be a plank, and it'll be almost two, two inches thick. So um, I can mill from there and then, you know, pull, the, pull my beams out from the rest uh, with the edge mill. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get to it and let's see if, uh, this makes any difference at all in, you know, getting this, this first cut done. Um, I did, uh, contact, um, Granberg to get a ripping chain for my saw. It has not arrived yet, so I'm still not using a ripping chain. Um, it, that's a problem, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the work must go on, right? So, um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, guys. So, 20 minutes of cutting for this. And I, I think it's working pretty well. I think this board is working pretty well. Uh, you can see on here, this is where it started going down, and I'm not, right? This is still equidistant. So, I think these are going to work out well. Um, but I want to show you something here. This is what's coming out of this chainsaw. I mean, it's like nearly powder, right? They told me that, that they uh, sharpen the chain. Um, I'm not a big fan of the sharpening they did. Um, in contrast, I want to show you some of this over here. This is from the Ryobi. Um, and you can see nice big chunks coming out, right? Now, obviously, this wasn't ripping, but it, I mean, those big chunks means that's a sharp, sharp uh, chain. So, I think uh, the problem I have here is chain related. Um, I'm not going to go any further than I have already on this, uh, simply because, you know, I'm just I'm I'm burning gas, right? I'm 
20 minutes to cut 12 inches is ridiculous. I don't remember having uh, near this much problem uh, when I was milling last year when I, you know, when I milled all that stuff over there and all that stuff over there. Um, I mean, I just, I just ripped it right up, right? So um, I think, I think the problem is chain related. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and pause on that, uh, on the milling piece. Um, and once I get that figured out, I mean, I think this is going to work, work pretty well. This, uh, these stiffening, um, uh, plates that I put on there, uh, you know, it's pre-punched, I don't know, stainless steel or something. Um, I think those are going to work out well for, for helping, helping, uh, you know, make this board stiffer. Cause you can see I'm putting like almost all my weight on it and it's barely flexing. Um, so that's good. Uh, so, you know, one step forward, four steps back, that sort of thing. Um, I am going to take the mill off of this saw and just for the hell of it, I'm going to go over here um, to this guy. And I'm just going to cut a slice off of the end of this one uh, just to try to like even that up, uh, you know. It's kind of rough and so on, so I'm just going to take a take a slice off of that with the gas-powered saw, and and just see, you know, if it's just that chain, um, the way that it's sharpened, uh, not not being conducive to ripping. <laughs> uh, when that chain was brand new, straight from still, it ripped pretty well. Um, but in any case, uh, I, you know, I paid some guys to do some maintenance on that. Um, and you know, they did, um, it starts a lot easier this year than it did last year. Um, you know, it's one pull, sometimes two pulls, uh, to get the thing going. Um, and you know, last year there were a couple of times I really struggled with it. I had to fight with it to get the thing, uh, rolling. So I'm, I'm pleased in that respect, but boy, I am not happy with the chain. Um, you know, I want, the whole point is to get this stuff milled. I mean, that's the whole reason I'm out here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, just a quick update. So you see all these chunks right here? See how, how big and chunky and bulky this sawdust is? That's from the Ryobi. This stuff over here, all this, this little powder, is from the still. So the chain is wrecked. Um, they said they sharpened it. It's dullest damn chain maybe it's on backward for crying out loud um but in any case i tried multiple times with the still and it could not go through that and then i brought the ryobi over and zoop, it was done so uh definitely a chain problem um yeah i'm gonna check and make sure this stupid thing is on the right way maybe they can put the chain on backward you know that's something you should probably check right <laughs> So, Ryobi chain, nice and sharp and just ripping stuff up. Still chain, Jesus, look at this. These are terrible. I should have looked at these teeth earlier than this. But I mean, it's on the right way though, right? So. Yeah, um, definitely going to have to put some time into that chain. <sighs> That's all the update. Kind of a bust on the, on the milling thing, um, but I think I know why. So there is that, and I did fix the, the board flex thing. At least I think I, fi I fixed the board flex. Uh, you know, time will tell, but I, I think that it's, it's pretty good. So there we are. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and... Eat more fruit.